Sometimes we need to work with very large or very small numbers. There's a special way of writing these numbers called scientific notation. Scientific notation works on a very simple principle. You can multiply or divide any number at all by 10 repeatedly until you get a number that's at least 1 and is smaller than 10. If you count how many times you multiplied or divided, you can write that part in a mathematical shorthand. We're working in tens, multiplying or dividing by 10, and that's what this number signifies. This smaller number is the number of times we have multiplied or divided by 10, and is known as the power, the exponent, or the index. This is often said as 10 to the power of 4, or even just 10 to the 4. The rules for writing numbers in scientific notation are really very easy. You must end up with just one digit to the left of the decimal point. Each time you move the decimal point to the left, increase the power of 10 by 1. Each time you move the decimal point to the right, decrease the power of 10 by 1. To write this number in scientific notation, we look for the decimal point and move it until we end up with just one digit to its left. We're going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. This gives us our final number that begins 4.5 and is multiplied by 10 to the 7. That's the number of times we move the decimal point. For this one, we're going to move the decimal point to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. This gives us the number 3.905 times 10 to the minus 5. It's minus 5 because we've moved the decimal point to the right. The same rule applies if you are already multiplying by a power of 10. 385.5 times 10 to the 3 is the same as 38.55 times 10 to the 4 and is also the same as 3.855 times 10 to the 5. Each time we move the decimal point one place left, we increase the power of 10 by 1. The final number in the list, 3.855 times 10 to the 5, is the one in scientific notation because it only has one digit to the left of the decimal point.